Hey everybody, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I am continuing my series on doing these amazing isolated vocal tracks uh, where I'm doing a tutorial, I'm doing an analysis, I'm talking about the band and the recording and production uh, process and, and backstories in the band. Next up is Styx. The song is called Lady. Uh, the singer is Dennis D. Young. And uh, I did a version of this with my student, Sarah Loera. I'm gonna put that in the description. You can see how we did. But I wanna go ahead and talk about why this is special to me. It's special because I've talked about this song a lot when I talk about the use of mask. And Dennis is a master at that. So as you listen to this track, I want you to notice how he brings this sound right into the front of his face. I want you to notice the clarity with which, within which he sings and his pristine pitch and intonation. I mean, it's just awesome. So check this out. Um, I'm gonna play it first. We'll talk more about it. Here we go. Lady, when you're with me, I'm smiling. Give me, whoa, 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 your love. Your hands build me up when I'm sinking. Touch me and my troubles are fade. Okay, now, as we go through this a line at a time, I want to point out, now there's a little, you know, there's some humanness to it too. And I want to point that out, not in any way to diss him, just to, to put some humanity back on it, because I really like to do that. Now, as we go into the first line right here. Lady, when you're with me, I'm smiling. Me Lady, when you're with me, I'm smiling. You hear how it's like really, really. Lady, when you're with me, I'm smiling. You know, it's really bright and real frontal. Now, he does use, uh, maybe almost overuse the vocal track a little bit to over accentuate the words, but that's his style. It's a theater kind of thing where he's, you know, very, you know, rock opera kind of, you know, sort of thing. And so these bands back then sort of pioneered the whole kind of rock opera. Of course, there was Tommy, of course, and Pink Floyd, The Wall, etc. But 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 they had, you know, all of this very, very, rock opera thematic each song had a theme and, and the albums usually had a theme and they'd go from song to song and it told a story and it was it was just this it, like watching a movie with your headphones on i mean it was that good where they really spent a lot of time orchestrating this stuff my other understanding of this song is i think this was the very first song uh, that Styx ever did it. As, as Dennis D. Young put it in one video, he says, this was what started that whole train of rolling was the this song. And I also think if I remember correctly, and Dennis, correct me on this if I'm wrong, um, was I, I think they even kind of had a little bit of trouble getting a record deal and getting the radio to play it and stuff. And then it finally caught on and boom, it became Styx. But know too that it was no easy road for the, these guys at the beginning. I mean, they had to work hard at it, write killer songs and compete with a lot of really great talent that was out there at the time. So we're gonna listen to it again. Here we go. Hey! When you're with me, I'm smiling. Give me, whoa, 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 your love. Now for you singers out there, I want you to try to give me, try that, give me, whoa, 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 your love. Now I just came off of singing some heavy stuff, so I'm a little more girthy on the sound that I, whoa, 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 your love. <laughs> I, think I just sang like a Dio song, so I'm like, I got kind of Dio voice today. But anyway, um, and I've been, this is like, oh my gosh, I don't know, what is it, like my eighth hour of singing and teaching and talking? Uh, but nonetheless, you know, I can pay, you know, it's a little boy voice, real small sound, okay? So here we go, let's continue. Give me, whoa, 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 your love. Pristine clarity. Your hands. Build me up when I'm sinking. By the way, uh, sinking. He kind of goes a little flat at the end. That's what I mean about putting a little humanity on this. Check it out. Your hands build me up when I'm sinking. Just a tiny bit, not a lot, but it's a little noticeable. You probably don't notice it unless the track was in, but I can hear it. Touch me and my troubles are fade. Now it's kind of interesting, and my troubles all fade. He kind of covers his R's there instead of and troubles all fade. He's not bringing it in the face, so he kind of changes it up a little bit. Sometimes he covers the sound, makes it darker or warmer, and sometimes he's really bright and forward in the mask in front of the face, right? 
and my troubles are fade. Okay, here we go. Lady, from the moment I saw you. Now, did you notice too, he's not struggling for that. Lady, from the moment I saw you. Right, he's not struggling for any vowels. It's just really natural for him. And it sounds pretty stinking great. And I gotta tell you, you know, as I've looked back over the landscape of how many guys have lost their voice over the years, this brother is still out there doing it to this day. I don't know, late 60s, he might be 70 for like, I mean, he's, he's up there in years and he's still kicking butt, straight up. In fact, one of my students, um, is actually uh, playing the part of Tommy uh, in his band. And um, so he's doing all the Tommy Shaw stuff. And we're going to get to that because I've done some other stick stuff too. But um, anyway, so uh, just awesomeness. Just awesomeness. I just love this because it really helps me as a singer identify all these different vocal fox or types and styles uh, to know how to, how to try to sing like this. Here, here we go. Lady, from the moment I saw you. Standing, whoa, 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 alone. You gave all the love that I needed. Now, you gave, he didn't go, you, he wasn't tiny, it was ya -oo. You, you, right? So if you're trying to get to an ooh sound up that high, don't go, you, go, you, all oh, ooh, real quick. You gave, right? It's you gave. All right, so listen to it again. You gave. Ya ooh, real quick. All the love that I needed. So shy, like a child who had grown. You're my Love that. Very operatic. Morning! You know, hello, ha, ha! Right, you just kind of get that feeling. You know, almost, you know, a little on the queen side, right? A little queen. All these bands were competing for that awesome space. Queen and, St uh, and Kansas. We just talked about Kansas, how Carry On My Wayward Son kind of sounded like this little bit with the piano. Once I rose above the noise and confusion. Had a very similar kind of piano vibe to it. You know, that's pretty cool, man. The shine in your eyes. Now, did you notice, you're gonna notice, I'm gonna show you some real quick. When the band comes in. So it's like, lady, turn me up when I'm rolling. Right, he's stepping it up and he's leaning into the sound and he's kind of rocking it out a little bit more rather than the ballad side when it first started. So one of the other things I love about the song is it starts real small and real sensitive, it gets a little bigger, gets a little bigger, gets a little bigger, gets a little bigger, it's all wham, all of a sudden it's just this epic, epic ending of the song. So, so let's uh, continue without the track for a second. Lady. Turn me on when I'm lonely Show me all oh, 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 your charms Evenings when you let down beside me Take me gently into your arms Okay, now I wanna come back and I wanna add the track to this because I want you to hear how this, how this fits with the track. And I wanna say one more thing about sticks because it's, it's really worth noting, <laughs> not even noting, it's really worth, um, I wanna say praising or eulogizing, is that I've seen sticks, I guess live three times, but I've seen them also live performances on TV a few times. I have never seen a bad performance, ever. 
Not one time. I don't remember anybody hitting any bad notes. I don't remember any guitar parts being missed. I don't remember anything being off about these guys. In fact, I do remember one time when I was younger, seeing him for my second time, getting such a musical spanking. I was like, when I, I remember seeing the Dixie Dregs that happened to me too. Um, and I was just like, I walked away with my tail between my legs going, I'm just never gonna be that good, you know? It just ain't gonna happen. Like, how do you get that good? How do you get that good where your guitar, like Tommy Shaw and him, or his, you know, Desi Young playing keys and singing at the same time, Tommy Shaw singing, playing guitar. And, you know, everybody, everybody in the band singing and playing great. And I went to, I said to myself, oh, by the way, I didn't sing back then. I only played guitar. So it was just, I didn't even the guitar, like, how am I gonna be that good on guitar? You know, and I said, I was never gonna be this good. And then also have like to me with a few other bands, like I said, Dixie Dregs and stuff. And I just went, wow, I guess, you know, I'm just gonna keep one step at a time, one step, step by step by step. I'm just gonna chip away at it and do my best because I loved music so much. And I didn't get, I mean, of course I got discouraged. Everybody gets discouraged, but I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna keep trying, you know? I'm just gonna keep trying. And over the years, with a lot of practice and a lot of dedication. By the way, it's not practice that makes perfect. It's perfect practice that makes perfect. So you could practice something wrong and you're still doing it wrong. So you gotta like get good information. That's actually why I have a singing course is to give you guys quality information so you could bypass all of the mistakes I made and go straight to the gold, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, straight up. But anyways, I wanna add the track to this. Here we go, let's do it here. Whoops, I'm having problems with this. Lady. When you're with me, I'm smiling. So beautiful. Give me, whoa, 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 your love. Your hands build me up when I'm sinking. The sinking. Here's that little flatness I talked about. And it's only there. I wonder if Dennis has ever thought about, you know, gosh, if I could have gone back and redone that line, I would have. Uh, or maybe it just doesn't matter because the take was so great. Um, and it's the only thing in the whole song like that. Let's get that clear too. All right. Touch me and my troubles all fade. Lady, from the moment I saw now, I want you to focus on some instrumental stuff with me. Listen to the bass part, how cool it is. It kind of reminds me of, of a John Paul Jones, like in Led Zeppelin, you know, doing No Quarter, or, you know, some, some cool line, but listen how cool the bass is. Lady, from the moment I saw you Standing, whoa, 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 la, la. Da, 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 right? It's like Brian Bromberg. I don't know if you know who that is, but he's just got this beautiful melody sense about him on bass, which is great. You gave all the love that I needed. So shy, like a child who had grown. And if you listen back to the guitars, the guitars are just kind of clanking. Jink, 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 jink. It almost sounds like, like chimes or something on the guitars. So shy, like a child who had grown young. Now, in fairness too, man, you guitar players out there that write stuff, would you have thought of if you get this beautiful little piano thing to go gotta gotta Would you have come up with that? I don't think I would have. I think I would have thought, I don't want to step on anybody's toes here. I'm going to try to do what the piano's doing and maybe just power chord here and there and let it breathe. No, in fact, that's what's so cool about a great band and great players is they go, you know, that was your chance to shine. Now it's my turn to shine. I'm not going to step on anybody's toes, but I'm going to take this song in a direction that I feel in my heart and my spirit, and that's what makes a great band. Straight up. Now, couldn't you hear Kansas, Queen, you know, any of those band, big harmony bands like that, couldn't you kind of hear 
any of those guys coming up with this in the same way, but it's still so artistic and so musical and so creative and just awesomeness. Anyway, gang, hopefully you like this as much as I do. I love doing these uh, these um, you know takedowns of isolated tracks because it really just opens up the whole world of how all this was put together. You know how you you probably have you you know people that write out there, you guys that write out there, you probably have some really cool thing on piano or guitar with this melody and you know what you need? A great band or producer or both just to put it together to make it sound like this and bring it all together in one amazing, amazing piece of music like this. So anyway gang, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and definitely stick around for my next video.